Hello everyone, I'm Shamant Gowda, CSAT faculty at Insights IAS. I welcome you once again for the most awaited the CSAT series question of the day. As you are familiar from this series, every year whatever the questions which we are discussing here, most of the time these questions are reflected in the upcoming exams. So in this regard, again we are starting question of the day series. And in this series, as you know, every day I will be taking one question, I will be explaining that question based on its logic and also the conceptual clarity of that question and also a related question will be given for you as a homework which is called bouncer of the day. And the answer for that bouncer of the day will be given in the next video. And this process continues every day and I want you to involve every day in answering and learning this question. And the first question from which I am going to start is. The question says, what is the angle between hour and, and the minute and when the clock shows 825? Okay, in an analog clock, when the time is showing 825, what is the angle between minute and and hour and? Okay, guys, the time is 825. Look here now. The clock here is completely one revolution is 360 degree, means 360 degree is been divided into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 parts here. This 360 degree completely has been divided into 12 parts. 12 parts is equal to 360 degree means each part is of 30 degree. So one part is 30 degree. But superficially when you see 825, okay, 825, it looks like 90 degree, but it is not 90 degree because by the time minute hand travels from 12 to 5 here, from this point to this point, the hour hand also will be moving from this point till here. Okay, And we got to know that one part is equal to 30 degree. See, from here to here it is 30 degree. Similarly, 30 degree, 30 degree, 30 degree. From here to here also it has to be 30 degree. From here to here it is 30 degree. Okay, From 7 to 8 is also 30 degree here. See, 5 to 6, 30 degree, this is 30 degree, 30 degree, okay. If the hand was exactly at 8, the hand was exactly at 8, then this was supposed to be 90 degree, but there is a small movement of the R hand from 8 to this point. If I know this is the angle, okay, this angle, then definitely I can find out the total angle between minute hand to R hand, okay. Look here now. The minute hand, the minute hand in 60 minutes, that is 1 hour, it completes 360 degree, okay. In 60 minutes, it will complete one complete revolution. So in every 1 minute, it covers 6 degree. Similarly, the hour hand, the hour hand in the 60 minutes, Okay, in 60 minutes, in this 60 minutes, it will cover from 8 to 9. If the hour and it will be at 8, then in the next hour it comes here. So in 1 hour, it covers only which is nothing but 30 degree. Okay, one part is 30 degree. So in 1 minute, it covers 30 by 60 which is nothing but half degree. Okay, hour and in 1 minute covers half a degree. Now, the minute hand has started from this point to this point, that is from 12 to 5, which is 25 minutes. Okay. Similarly, same 25 minutes, the R hand has traveled from point A to this point. Okay. From here to here, R hand has traveled. R hand also has traveled for the same time, 25 minutes. From here to here, if it is 25 minutes, for R hand also from here to here, it is 25 minutes. And we know that. The R and in one minute can travel half a degree. In one minute, if it is half a degree, okay, I am arranging this one. If one minute, the R and can travel half a degree. In 25 minutes, means see I am cross multiplying here, into 25, it will travel 12 and a half degrees. 12 and a half degrees. So, this angle is 12 and a half degrees. Okay. So, this is 30 degree. 30 degree, 30 degree plus 12 and a half degree, 
30, 60, 90 and 12 and a half is 1 or 2.5 degree. So, answer is option C. Okay. So, this is the complete detailed explanation for this question. This question can also be done. This question can also be done using a small formula which is see the angle between minute hand to R hand is equal to R into 30 minus minute into 11 by 2 you can do. Okay. If you do only this much, you can answer the same question here. R, see look here, the time is 8, okay, R is 8, minutes is 25, that is what I am putting here, 8 into 30 minus minute is 25 into 11 by 2, 8 into 30 is 240 minus 25 into 11 which is 275, 275 and a half, okay, half of 275 is 137.5 which is nothing but 1 or 2.5 degrees, okay. If you do not know any of the concept behind the calculation, you can just do this okay, and you can mark the answer here. And the same question, okay, same question, but the different data was asked in the recently concluded 2024 CSE CSAT paper. I will give you the same question as the homework, okay, bouncer of the day is, this is the bouncer of the day guys. Try to answer this question and put the answer in the comment section. This was asked in the CSC 2024. Using the same trick, you can answer this question very easily. Within 30 seconds, you can get the answer here. Thank you. I will see you in the next video.